Hey guys, even here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting news. So first off, we got Mike Sommerfeld potentially switching to open bodybuilding. Now, this is the photo that he posted in which he really doesn't look much like a classic physique guy. He looks pretty freaky, right? Like the vascularity, the, the, the size that he put on. You know, he looks big, he looks really swole right now. And in the caption here he says, competing in bodybuilding next time... We have a full year to gain muscle and size. So this is basically the news that is circling around the internet. People are speculating whether he should switch to the open or stick with the classic physique. And based on this photo right here, I mean, does he look like he has the potential to do well in the open, to get that big? I think it's possible. I think he has the right frame for it. Of course, he would have to put a lot more muscle on, but the frame is there. And I don't want to say that he's not classic, but he's not necessarily super, super classic. Like, for example, I don't know, Urs Kalicinski. Like, Urs is really classic. And this guy, I mean, he has fine aesthetics, sure. But he also is not lacking, for example, arms or I mean, anything in the upper body or lower body. He has very dominant legs, but also he has really wide clavicles. Like, he's a really big frame guy. So if he was willing to really try, to really try hard, I don't know how hard he's trying right now for classic physique, but if he's not really going all the way in, you know, with food, with training, with gear, and if he was willing to go to that extreme, I think he has the right frame, the right shape, the right potential to be a good open bodybuilder. And he's not, I mean, that far off. Like, yeah, sure, open guys are much bigger, but there are some open guys who are not that big, still they're doing well in the open division because they have the right structure, the right shape, and they appear to be bigger. And Mike, you know, he was 5th at the Mr. Olympia last year, not this year. This year he was 8th. Last year he was 5th, you know, top 5 in classic physique, was a great achievement. I mean, he came in sharp, he was tight, he was really conditioned, and he does have that classic shape for sure. It's not extraordinary, super classic, but it's there, like the aesthetics are there. And the conditioning was really on. Once again, he has like big legs, wide shoulders, the arms are there, the back is there, the chest is there. Really, he's a very complete guy. I don't see any major flaws on his physique. Once again, the conditioning was also really good. Check out the glutes and the hamstrings and the back, the development of the back as well. So very, very complete all around. And the best that he could do in open, in classic physique, actually was 5th spot last year. And this year, he ended up in 8th. I don't think he was in worse shape, in worse conditioning than previous year. I think his conditioning was very good. You know, he was on. I wouldn't say he was off. But I don't think he improved anything. Because I think he reached his maximum potential in classic physique. I mean, can he come in somehow, like, maybe more matured, more detailed, uh, somehow harder, maybe fuller, maybe, maybe he can peak a little bit better, but he can't grow much more in classic physique, I think he's only a couple of pounds away from his weight cap, so he pretty much maxed out his physique in classic physique, and if he wants to continue doing classic physique, that's fine, he will probably be in the top, like, he has all the tools, very complete, can bring conditioning, the classic lines are there, but if he wants to make a lot more progress and actually fulfill his maximum potential, open is the answer. Once again, looking at these photos right here, I can see it, you know, I can see him doing well in the open, I mean, there are guys like, for example, Rafael Brandau, Horse MD, many others who were supposed, who could have been really good classic physique guys who maybe considered it at some point, but they decided to stick with the open. They made a little progress every year and they did really well in the open. I mean, Rafael was 10th at the Mr. Olympia, Horse MD was just third at Romania Pro, beating Nathan Diasha, and Horse MD was prepping for a classic show last year. So these guys with classic lines, they don't really need to gain like 50 pounds of muscle. With the shape, with the right shape, they can get a little bit bigger, you know, peak a little bit differently, you know, come in full, and they can do really well in the open. And if Mike has a desire to do open bodybuilding, he should pursue it. Once again, I can see it. I can see him doing well in that division. I'm curious what you guys think. 
but apparently based on the comment of his coach, Neil Hill Yoda, unfortunately it's probably not happening, uh, Neil Hill says no, Mike Sommerfeld is not going into open full stop. Mike still didn't say anything, I mean, I don't know if he would just write something like this, competing in bodybuilding next time, we have a full year to grow, uh, just to play with his fans, just to tease us. It doesn't really sound like him, I don't know, there is probably some truth to it, maybe he was considering it and he decided not to do it, maybe he's gonna do it next year or the year after, we'll see, but it's definitely an interesting thought and what do you guys think once again, could he do well in the open bodybuilding or should he stick with classic? Alright, next up we have another client of uh, Neil Hill, it's Rafael Brenda, who I just mentioned and who is just starting his prep, uh, he is planning on qualifying for the Mr. Olympia of course and he plans to do a bunch of shows next year and this is what he looks like right now, so I'm curious how much weight did he really put on because in the off season he seemed like he grew a ton of muscle but now that he started prepping, he probably, I mean, he definitely depleted his glycogen and he didn't really get that much leaner from the off-season. So right now is like the worst time to be taking photos. I mean, I know this from experience. When you're bulking hard and you're full of glycogen and you're really big and really heavy and you start dieting, you just lose the glycogen and your skin gets a little bit loose. Your, your muscles are flat, you're, you're flat, but you're not lean yet, so that time period in between, you can't really see what is going on, and you shouldn't be even looking at yourself in the mirror, you should just take your photos for your coach, and not think too much about it, and let alone posting this stuff online, because I don't think he looks very good right now. And I wonder what did he use to film this video, because the camera quality is just horrible, but still we can see what he's working with right now, so... I don't think he's, at least in this video, he doesn't look that much bigger than last year. When he was peak off season, he looked like he gained a ton. Like he looked really freaking jacked, really massive, really full, big and round. And I thought he made a ton of progress. And you guys know that he switched coaches. He worked with Chris Asito for five years, I believe. And he got to 10th place in the Mr. Olympia with Chris Asito. And he decided to stop working with Chris and move on to Neil Hill. Which I thought was a reasonable decision because we all know Chris Asito is not really an off season coach, he's a prep coach. And Rafael, his only flaw basically was the size. He needed to put on more size. So he went with somebody who is good for the off-season. You guys probably heard stories about Chris Asito, uh, how his clients are, you know, sending him uh, check-in photos and he's like, sure, good, keep eating, keep training, you know. He wasn't really a coach that's gonna help you get massive and, you know, Neil Hill is. And uh, it was probably a suggestion by Flex Lewis because you guys know that Rafael Brandau and Flex Lewis are good friends and uh, Flex Lewis was always coached by Neil Hill, so he probably suggested him and... And, uh, you know, when I saw this, uh, these photos in the offseason, I thought, wow, Rafael is growing. He is going to be massive next time we see him on stage. And you know what? I still do believe that. I still believe it because, once again, look at his photo. So this is peak off season, September 5th. I don't know this for a fact, but I can make a pretty good guess. I'm assuming that they were actually, you know, blasting gear up until this point, around this point. Blasting gear, eating a lot of food, training hard, and this was him at his biggest, at his peak. Then after that, before the prep starts, this is the way it's usually done, they went off of the PDs. And they started the prep fresh. Also, they are probably prepping for a while at this point. So he's probably on low food, once again his glycogen is depleted, he did get a little bit leaner but not that much, so you can't expect him to look much better. Personally, I wouldn't be taking any photos until I was like a month or two months in, at that time he's going to look better and I'm pretty sure at the end of this prep, on the stage, the final result is going to be good, I think he's going to be better, I think he did make some progress, but it's not really visible yet. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. Alright, next up we got a little physique update of Michal Grigio at his, as he likes to call it, relax mode. 
This is what Michal Kryzhal looks like when he's relaxed. So what does this mean, relax mode? Well, it means that he's probably off the gear, you know, after the competition season is over, he probably went off, he's recovering, he's probably not worrying too much about the food, about the training, he's chill, he's letting his body recover and, uh, you know, his mind relax and refresh. And, you know, next year he's going to have to do a show to qualify for the Mr. Olympia again. So I wanted to talk about this guy and his potential in bodybuilding and the Mr. Olympia. So as you guys know, he placed uh, seventh at the Mr. Olympia, which was a rather big leap, you know, going from 12th last year to 7th this year. It was a great progress and I believe he could have done much better than that. If he wasn't as flat as he was, if he was a little bit less conditioned but much bigger, big as he can be, he probably could have placed higher, you know, all the way up to top 4 potentially. And this guy recently, you know, turned pro. I mean, yeah, he competed uh, in IBB Elite, but he wasn't being pushed over there he was dominating that, that 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 federation completely so now that he's in in ibb pro league you know he he has a lot more work to do and you can see that he's making a lot of progress every year now i don't know how much more progress can he really make you know it depends on how much he's actually pushing right now like is there more room you know to introduce more more pds for example is he really going like as hard as possible with food and training? I mean, look at his video, look at his freaking arms. I mean, this guy's physique is like more impressive than Kevin Levroni back in the day in the gym training. So like, I think he has all the tools to be one of the top guys to eventually get up to like, to do something like Dennis Wolf did, you know, like top three of the Mr. Olympia. I can see him doing something like that. I think he has the potential physically. I just don't know where he is mentally and is he willing to put in all that work and is it even possible for him to progress even more but you know he has like he definitely has the tools to be one of the top guys look at this insane physique this is crazy this is this is insane guys Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.